Hello, welcome if you're new. This is Lifestyle with Ola, where I talk about lifestyle, luxury, fashion, fitness, and everything in between, really. And in today's video, I'm bringing to you my entire closet um, co uh, coat collection. And um, I'm trying to make sure I do this the right way. So for this particular video, I'm gonna share with you my long line coats and i think I've, i'm due for one i try to make sure i do this every year this is more of accountability for me and a way of curating i've tried on all the co uh, coats in my closet and found out that there are ones that i that no longer fit my lifestyle don't longer no longer fits my aesthetic and so if this sounds like something you're interested in please stay <laughs> time and because I have quite a lot um, I'm sure I have 20 something uh, coats on that rack and because I did this video yesterday and was about to edit it I found out that I, I didn't put on my mic so I have no uh, audio so I'm redoing this and I need to be fast because that one took forever so I'm gonna try and you know get to the bottom of it as fast as I can I know I'm rambling right now but the first coat in my collection is the Saks Ports leather coat and it's you know as you can see in the video there it's a very nice coat i love the way it fits i love the sleeves of it um yeah i love the the arm of it it's so soft right there and the detail of it the only caveat with this coat is i wish i had gotten another color because with this i found that i've only been able to wear with black um, leather pants or leather leggings and I will wear with sh um, short skirts and I um, and over the knee boots so and I would want to wear in other ways and I wish I, maybe I've gotten another color or it was longer than this but it's still a very well made coat I had something similar from um, um, ASOS or Topshop I think it was Topshop which is one, one of the the um, coats on that rack so I really love this coat I do recommend uh, Saxport it's not like anything I own it of course it costs quite a, a, a bit of money but as with anything quality or if you want anything quality sometimes it does cost money and I don't regret it the next coat in my collection is a sports mask sport max coat and this coat I love, I love, love, love. This is a long line coat. Um, also, I love the sleeve of it. It's one where I roll, it's very long. Um, I got this over, I think I got it over the Christmas break when the stores were doing all those sales. And I first bought it in the blue, the blue was on sale. And when it arrived, I found out it was, it's a navy blue one. I arrived, I found out that I didn't pay attention to it. It was a navy blue coat. But because of well-made coat, I was like, you know what? I really needed a black coat. And I love the idea of draping coats over my shoulders. And this is one of them. And it's really well-made. It's 100% um, wool. And it has no lining. But despite that fact, it's still, you know, well-structured. It's double blazer, like I said. I love the pockets. I love the fit of it. I love how soft it is. Even though it's wool, it's not an itchy wool at all. And it's really well-made. And can't uh, recommend it enough it's really good coat my collection is this Gulliver uh, collaboration with H&M coat um, I have had this coat for a while if you've watched my other videos or I think it's the one be um, in 2021 or 20 I've had this coat for a long time basically and I love it it's a navy blue coat it's sleeveless it's good for wearing you know and this is about the only um, sleeveless or gilet type coat that I own and it's really good for layering with um, bulky sh um, shoulders or you know balance sleeves uh, items so I love this coat is a rope style belt and you know for cinching in the waist when you want and it's a it's really well made and I love it next coat in my collection is the sport max coat this is the one I said was on sale that I got and I thought it was black. It looked black on the on, on the website. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't really. It was on sale. I quickly tried to uh, purchase it. So when it, it got it arrived, I noticed it was navy blue. I kept trying to compare it to my other items. I was like, yeah, it is navy blue, but it's still well made. It's structured. It does a lot of stuff. 
um, I can drape it over my so sh uh, shoulders. I plan to wear this with a light blue uh, jogger set, like a jogger and hoodie set. And so that way I can create a kind of, and wear, maybe with tennis shoes, white tennis shoes, or, you know, dress it up also. So the good thing about, you know, structured double blazer coats is that you can do that spot locks look. And I really love this coat. It's well made, like I said. The sleeves in, on this one is diff different. Um, it has the button detail, it has one, two, three, four button. And whereas that one, you can easily um, roll the sleeves. So the sleeve is not too long on this one, but it is still well structured. It has the vent at the back right there. And I think the other one does too. Yeah, the other one does too because it's a long coat. I really enjoy having it. I've been, you know, for something I just got over Christmas, I've won it a lot and I really recommend it. So the next coat in my collection is this and other stories um gray coat. I got it on sale during the Black Friday sale, and it is really a heavy coat. It is um I think I checked this the last one on my last video. It is let's see 68% wool, 29% polymer, and 3% order. I really love this coat. I love the way it looks with tonal items and I love the sleeve on this too because I, when I wear it with my like my K cardigan, I have the K cardigan in gray, the the long one, and I wear like with gray pants, you know, with my gray, you know, that tonal look and maybe um maybe we can use this burgundy style as a pop of color. It does look good. I love the, the I love something that I've noticed now is that long line coat is my kind of vibe it does fit me well especially when i'm wearing trousers or pants or leggings they fit well wear oversized coats um this i got in a size large and that's a trick for if you want to be able to wear a coat and drape it over your shoulders get one that's um uh, one or two sizes bigger than your usual normal size so that you can layer things under i love this coat and i recommend it next coat in my collection is this oldie but goodie from zara I've had this coat for some years now and I really love it. I love it so much that, you know, I kind of um, altered it to, I did some alterations on it because the design of it had a slit on each side and a slit at the back. I didn't like that look because every time I walked, it had a flap going um, everywhere. So I took it to a tailor and had the, all of the flaps, the sides and everything sewn back in. And it's a um, rope style coat also, it has no buttons, yeah it doesn't have any buttons. But I love the look of it when I wear, especially this, um, I think this is a Prince of Wales, yeah I think this is a Prince of Wales um, print. I love it, it's more of the Zara premium quality ones. This Mantico um, brand or what's it called, it's usually from, it's, it's that iron end brand anyways. And I love it. I love the sleeves of it because like, like I said with other ones, you can wear bulky items underneath because it's not that tight fitting. And I can also drape this over my shoulders, but because of the belt, uh, the rope detail, I don't do that with this. I just wear it and then try to cinch the waist by tying it at the back instead of the front and they also have that open front look. I love this coat and I recommend Next coat in my collection is this very good one. I love this from Mango. So the thing about Mango, of, of I think it was the end of 2021, was end of 2021. They had it like a end of the winter 2021. So it was in 2022, they had like a really good sale on their coats. And I saw the coats and I was like, this is ridiculously cheap. I need to get all of these coats in my size. So I went on a, uh, a splurge on coats. And coats for me are like, they're outfits for me. They're one and done. Because in the winter, if I know I'm not gonna go out, if when, when I go out and I'm not gonna take off my coat, I let my coat do the talking. I let my coat be the statement item. I let it be an outfit by itself. So because I, I do all of that, I always make sure to, that's why I think I have a lot of coats. I love this that, you know, it's double breasted also. I can drape it over. It's the same thing about all of that other ones that this is doing. And for the fabric content of this, this is, um, 
I got this in the medium by the way so it must really fit big and this is 36% wool um, voile polyester and viscose I love this coat because it does fit you know it does you know the thing about coats for me is that did I say an other story is a mango yeah it is mango the thing about coats for me is that you know you 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 want a coat it's just like when you you why I don't I, I don't think I wear one coat all the time is because I when I'm going to work or going to place I don't show off with the same outfit every day so why would I show up with the same coat every day? And it, 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 that's just my way of looking at it. So I try to interchange, make sure that my coats match what I'm wearing underneath in case I take whatever I'm wearing underneath off. Or if I don't take it off, if it's a trouser, I can let it match the trousers that I'm wearing or pants. So that's my own thinking about coats. And this coat I highly recommend from Mango and I love it. Next coat I have is this very nice one. Um, I love this coat from, it's a jacket from Isabel Moran. And, you know, this jackets were really in, I think it was 2021 also, or 20, beginning 2022. But I love this coat. I you know I usually will wear it with, you know, tonal items, or if I was wearing like a beige on um, jogger set, and what else? Beige jogger set, um, hoodie, and I wanted to kind of, you know, elevate a look. I usually will put this on so that the green will pop against the beige because I'm already wearing the beige. The, the green in the coat will be the pop of color or wear on the black. You know, so many ways to style it. And so I love this coat. I tried the jacket trend. And so this has become a classic in my closet, regardless of, you know, if the jackets are in or not, this is now a classic for me. I tried it out with the H&M jackets and I think Mango had a jacket that I have on. I already listed them in my Poshmark account. If you check my description box below, there's a link for my Poshmark account and then you can, you know, peruse, check to see if there's something you like or something that might be in your size. So I use those ones to try out the trend. Like I said, I love this coat. Um, it's a olive green, or I'll just call it, yeah, olive green coat from Mango. I got this coat in a large, and it's a long line coat also. It can be draped over your shoulders. It's double breasted. It was on sale. I have it in my closet. I needed a, a green coat, you know, to complement some things in my closet. I wanted a really bright green one. This is more muted and you know it's a darker shade. I'm still on the on for a lighter green one. I think I found one on the other stories but it sold out quickly in their sale in my size and so I'm still looking for one that you know when it comes in my size I'll you know quickly grab it. I love what I say. And I love this coat. This coat is probably a thumbnail on my channel. I've had this coat for a while now. I love this coat. Um, it's actually a Ellen London or Ellen Berman coat. And I got in the size small. This coat is 20% wool, 45% acrylic, 30% polyester, but it's still really well made. Every time I wear this coat, I get compliments about it. I was at a Nostrum in my uh, local Nostrum walking up the escalators as soon as i saw that coat i'm like whoa i have to have that coat it stands out i love coats that you know stand out because the coat is the outfit really so i saw it i was like oh this is a small it's not gonna fit i tried it on it fit i was like i'm getting it and it was the last one before anybody that was the last i was just like i want it it fit and i got it and i've had it ever since then when i wear this this if I wear with red, tone brings the color down. If I wear with blue, you know, there's not anything. I, I can't even wear what I'm wearing right now. So I love this coat. I love the way it looks. I uh, It has a belt detail. It's not as long as my other long line coats, but it still does the job, especially to brighten other people's mood uh, during winter. It has that belt, um, the, what's that called now again? My words fail me. It has the robe detail and I usually cinch it in at the back to give it that, you know, open silhouette and, you know, I love that look. I love the coat. On to the next one. This is my one and only pink coat and I, I've noticed that in my closet I have a lot of multiples of, you know, the thing about it, I, I loved it. 
I bought it, but it's not the length I want. So how I've been making do with this is by styling it with the same kind of, and that's how to get the long line look. If you want to get, get the same um, shade in your trousers, not a skirt, because it, it doesn't have a good look when your skirt is longer than your coat. So what I do is get the same shade in my trousers or make my skirt shorter than this and let the boots be the difference between, you know, the coat and and my uh, my legs. So um, this I got an extra large from Zara. It's a part of that Mentico um, branding and it's the pre part of their premium line. I love it. I wish they made it. The next coat in my collection is this long line coat. It's very long, orange from Karen Millen. I got this coat in a 12, in a US 12. I think this is a UK 16, US 12. And I love this coat. I love, because it, even for this coat, I can drape it over my shoulders. I can wear a button down. I can wear a lot of, it goes with so much and I love it. I think I styled it um, on my Instagram with a pair of um, orange trousers from Victoria Beckham. I love the look of this coat. It has that, um, this detail at the back, it's not removable, it's sewn in. But I love this coat, you know. Um, well, I, I can't, I don't think I have any negative thing about this coat. I love the lapels of it. I love, you know, how the color is and how that stays down. And it's long. And I plan to have this coat in my collection. So what? So the next coat in my collection is this Massimo Duty um, leather. It's I think it's a Massimo Duty studio. Um, it's from that studio line from Massimo Duty, and it's a leather long line trench coat in orange also, and it has the belt buckle um, for you to cinch in the waist if you know if you really want it cinched in. I got this in a large so that I can have that. If I wanted to have that cinched in on um, the waist look, I can do that. I love that it has a shoulder pad. I love this coat. I love, something I've noticed about me nowadays is that when I wear orange, it brings out my color more. And I've been, you know, gravitating towards a lot of orange. And because orange was in for a while, we might not, we might not see orange in stores like we saw it because it was trending, I made sure to get all the orange that I want because it suits me. That, that even when it goes out of trend, because it's now a classic in my wardrobe in my, and I'll be able to wear it. So this, it's 100% leather. It's a forever piece in my closet. Instead, I picked this up in a medium, I'm surprised. So it, it does really run oversized then. I think it was from, I think it was probably from two seasons ago, but I love this coat. Um, what else can I say about it? I, I wish it was longer. Like when I get my coats from Zara, I'm gonna try and make sure that it's, it, it hits me on the ankle. So that when I, I love that long line look, long line silhouette, and it fits me better, really. So what else it is from that Mantico uh, premium from Zara, so. It's well made. Um, if, I'm, I, if, if I find, like when the red starts being in fashion again or if we are out of the season and they have red coats and they are better quality ones, I'm gonna grab it because I'm trying to get, there's a different shade of red, a red coat that I'm looking for. And so if I get that or if I get red in a more of a uh, plus, um, full leather, shiny kind of leather i will get it because i think i'm missing that and, um, that in my wardrobe and this coat i love i recommend but in my collection is another maximo duty one and it's this houndstooth coat and i think it's just this brown it has some um blue stripes going through it i love this coat it's more of a cat coat it has that one button right there and it's not lined. It's one of those coats where I wear on days that it's not too cold, or if I wear it on a cold day, it has big sleeves so I can wear it with 
um, something that's very thick and warm on there and, <clears throat> and I just throw this over so I love this coat I love Massimo Duty coats uh, there's a from the same brand as Zara but I think they're more of the premium line from that conglomerate so I love this coat I recommend it um, it's easy to wear it's a car coat really I don't have anything negative to say about it it has that pocket right there and I recommend it until the next one this coat is an oldie but goodie I've had this coat for over 10 years this is a Jones New York coat it's in a size 10 I'm not sure if Jones New York still Jones New York still makes coat I don't see them around I bought them in a standalone store um, at Union Station back when you know um, Jones New York used to be there so I got it over 10 years ago it's just one of those single button down single breasted if that's yeah if it's single breasted coat it is brown for days where I need that brown to complement whatever I'm wearing I, I wear this it's a long line coat and the thing about coats also is to another way to dress it up is for ones that do come with the belt loops or come with the rope style you can actually substitute that rope um, the the belt robe that comes with it and use your normal a uh, regular belt or really fancy belt to cinch in the waist and then give give it another look so this sometimes i do that <clears throat> it although it doesn't have a belt loop but i love this coat it's been a trusted one it, 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 it has a lining and i think i i'm of that saying that if you buy well you won't buy often right so I love this coat and I recommend it <laughs> if it's still available. Oh my god, this coat I really really love. This is a coat, uh, full leather mock croc coat by Kai. It's a black owned brand based out of the UK. I really 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 love this coat. I just got it um, and I can't rave enough about it. It's a trench style coat. I love the sleeves of it. Oh, can you see that? Can you see that? It has that wide belt also right there. It fits so well. Especially if you uh, you wear it with white. The white underneath it makes it pop. And you know, then you add a pop of color. I really, really love this coat. I recommend it. I can't recommend it enough. And I think why the white actually works well because it has that white stitching. I love the inside of it. Because sometimes people skim on making things when the lining is not made well and that's what sits against your skin even though people don't see it but you want it to be really well made if it's still this i think the brand owner pays so much attention to detail nothing was skimmed or skipped in making this coat i love it i recommend it i okay so on to my tans now um this is a tan coat from shop curated or curated on instagram it's a brand i think i found through emma hill on instagram i usually watch her youtube channel she's on youtube also i, <clears throat> I really love this coat you know it is well made it is a cashmere coat actually and i wish the fabric details was there but nevertheless I love it. The only caveat about this coat that I don't love is that they do, it doesn't come with the belt loop pre-made. So you have to, it comes with like a, a piece of fabric and they say, oh, that's what you need to use to make your own um, belt loop, which I kind of don't like. And the re their reasoning is that everybody has different waistlines and whatever. So they don't put one on it, but I wish they had done it because other coats come with it <clears throat> and they still fit well. So if that had been done with this coat, this would have been a perfect, perfect coat. Even Maximara comes with a belt loop for this robe style kind of coat. So that's the only caveat about it. And it costs, it costs a pretty penny. So <clears throat> I wouldn't go back to that brand really because of that, because I'm not going out. So my next coat, coat, my next coat is this teddy coat from Stan Studio. I'm telling you, I love, love, love this coat. This coat um, is, is how, it reminds me of how a teddy coat should feel. You know, this coat is a dupe for the Max Mara one. <coughs> 
Jeez, I have something in my throat. This coat is the dupe for the Max Mara one. I love it. Um, I got it in a size bigger so that I can drape it over my shoulders and not just drape it, have it hang right there so that I can wear something sultry with it. And I love it. It's a long line coat. It has that one button. I know it has, so it's a single breasted. That's that button's right down there. But it's so soft that you feel like, oh my God, you feel like you're wrapped in a soft, cozy blanket. I love it and I recommend it. So this is another camel or tan coat, depending on what color you're seeing, from Mango. Uh, it's part of the coats that I picked up on sale. It is, it has that kind of hourglass shape. Uh, it, cinch, it cinches in the waist. It is really well made. I love it. I haven't worn it out. And what else about it? I love the sleeves. I love the sleeves on it. It's well made. Um, I haven't washed it or worn it out, but I'm looking for that occasion. I wish this came in a, not a tan. I wish this coat came in a darker brown or a black or some, or, but it, nevertheless, it still works. It's a good coat. I recommend it. If uh, Mango ever comes out with this again, please pick it up because it's worth every penny. I love that style of it. And, but um, when trying to see if I wanted to get the Sack Spots coat, um, this is a full um, vinyl leather. It's more of a butterscotch. Um, uh, it's coming off as yellow on the screen. It's more of a butterscotch uh, color. I love this coat. It has that um, belt uh, robe style too. And what do I love about this coat? I love that you can wear it, you know, with black. See, it, 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 is, it stands as a pop of color to whatever dark outfit you're wearing. Uh, it's a statement one also. You know, people will stop you to say, oh, I love that coat. So it's more of what you wear under and accessorize it with. I love this coat. Um, I don't have anything negative to say about it. It's styled just just like the Saks Spot one. And if, if you're trying to try out that brand um, and you want to see if you you want it, try this out. But I'm not sure if um, Topshop still has it. I got it when Topshop had a collection inside of Nordstrom. So I'm not sure if they, they still carry this silhouette and style of coats. So, but I do love it is this oatmeal um, coat oatmeal color coat from Zara it's part of that Mantico brand um, it's an extra large what else it's the rope style coat and I love this coat I mean what before I, I I wanted to try out the winter white coat trend some years back and I saw this at Zara I picked it up I love it. I love the way you can style it with, you know, in, in winter sometimes you don't want to wear an all white look, but that off white or cream look, this, you know, does the job. I have nothing negative about this coat, except that, you know, because I wear brown makeup, it's one of those that when you wear it, you have to be careful, but it's not as bad as my white coat, because now I have a white coat, I'm like, I thought I was trying to be careful with those ones, but with this, I have to be really careful. I love the coat, I recommend it. The only caveat about this Zara coat is I wish they were longer. I mean, because now, I, I, when I've started owning coats that go all the way to my ankle, I found out that that style of coat, like I said before, actually suits me better. But, you know, so now going forward, when I'm trying to buy coats, because even though you can't really see it on the Zara website, and I usually shop Zara on the website, I'll try to make sure that I check on the model how tall they are, or whether it hit them on the bottom or on their ankle or what part of their leg or fit, uh, what part of their leg it hits them so that I can know um, which, if that's the coat for me really. So I love this coat uh, from Mango. It is a um, teddy coat like you can see. I love, love, love this coat. I love the way it feels. It's so soft and snuggly. You can drape it over your shoulders. And so most of these teddy-like coats actually are like a dupe for the Max Mara coat. 
if you can't afford a Max Mara coat yet, the Ice Street is a great place, especially if they are well made. You know, sometimes you can, the Ice Street is always a hit or miss, depending on where it's made and the type of fabric that is used. But this I love from Mango, it will do until I get to Max Mara budget. But right now, this is doing the job. I love that soft feeling that it has. I can't recommend it enough if you know but one thing about coats like I said before is wait till the end of a season if the season is going nobody wants to keep that stock anymore because I think because designs fashion and everything changes with season it might not be in, in fashion by the next season but if it's a classic item to you and you know it's something you want to have in your collection for a long time then stick to it I love this coat I recommend it so the last but not the least coat in my collection is this white one. This is actually winter white from a, a brand called AGI or Aggie. And it's, this is the brand right here. Um, I usually buy most of their, now I have two items from this brand. I have the red um, full leather blazer from them. And I have this, I love this coat. It has, this detailing on there has a snap closure button on the sleeve. It has the same snap bu um, button closure right there. It has the pockets right there. It's really well made, it's really long. Like I said, long coats fit me better and I've been sticking to that. And that's the thing about finding your personal style is trying to find out what actually makes you, uh, makes you look good make you stand out, make you feel good also. So I found that, that you know, long line coats do that for me. Coats are a, an outfit in my uh, closet when I don't want to feel like dressing up all the way and I know I'm not going to take off my coat <laughs> when I'm going out or it's just going to be a brief one, I wear this. The only caveat about this coat is that it is white, it attracts dirt, it attracts, you know, if your hands are soiled, it attracts all of that. So that's the only thing about this coat so that brings me to the end of this video thank you thank you so much i'm happy i, I could film this again although i'm so sorry that it's coming late because i worked so hard on that other one and you know went into much detail and i'm like why am i repeating myself again i can't recover the audio from that so like share subscribe to this channel i'm trying to grow my channel as you heard from all my previous videos trying to do it this year and I'm dedicated, motivated and so um, share with your friends, family and let's be all one community and until next time, stay blessed.